Russia rejects ultimatum, declares no negotiations with Ukraine, Russia's foreign minister has stated that President Vladimir Putin has made it clear that there can be no negotiations with Ukraine following Kiev's attack on the Kursk region. The president, Putin, made it very clear that after the attacks, or even incursions, into the Kursk region, any negotiations are impossible. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said in an interview with the program Moscow, Kremlin, Putin on Russia 1. Television on August 19, Lavrov also dismissed reports of any contact ahead of potential negotiations between Russia and Ukraine mediated by Qatar and Turkey, calling them mere rumors. As for the rumors circulating recently about some secret contacts to prepare for negotiations mediated by Qatar on issues related to energy infrastructure between Russia and Ukraine. Or the rumor that our neighboring Turkey is planning to mediate in the field of food security within the context of ensuring freedom of navigation in the Black Sea, one must understand the real objectives of such plans, the Russian foreign minister added. This was done after the Bugenstock conference, where a decision was made to establish three working groups on energy, food within the context of ensuring maritime security, and humanitarian issues, such as prisoner exchanges, Lavrov said, according to Russia's top diplomat, the entire process within the framework of the Ukraine peace conference in Switzerland is unacceptable to Russia, as the event is aimed at pushing President Volodymyr Zelensky's peace formula as an ultimatum. The Bugenstock process is unacceptable to us, as its sole purpose is to push an ultimatum under the guise of Zelensky's formula, Lavrov emphasized. The first conference on Ukraine was held on June 15th to 16th in Bugenstock, Switzerland, at Kiev's request. Russia was not invited to the conference. Delegations from most United Nations member states were also absent. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova stated that the conference was a complete failure and that such events cannot be the basis for lasting peace. In late 2022, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky proposed a 10-point peace formula to end the conflict with Russia. Among the points in this peace formula is the demand that Russia withdraw all its forces from Ukrainian territory, restore Ukraine's 1991 borders, and compensate Kiev for the war. Moscow considers these conditions unrealistic. Russian officials have repeatedly stated that they are open to negotiations with Ukraine to end the conflict, but only based on the reality on the ground and taking into account Russia's security interests. President Putin has put forward a new peace proposal to resolve the conflict in Ukraine. This proposal is expected to recognize Crimea, the self-proclaimed Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, as well as the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions as part of Russia, maintain Ukraine's non-aligned and non-nuclear status, demilitarize and denazify the country, and lift sanctions on Russia, in an interview with the media on August 18. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova stated that Russia and Ukraine have not engaged in any direct or indirect negotiations. According to Zakharova, Moscow and Kiev have not been involved in any negotiations since the spring of 2022, except for prisoner exchanges facilitated by third-party mediators. Zakharova's comments were made to refute a previous report by The Washington Post, which claimed that Ukraine's recent attack on Russia's Kursk region derailed secret talks between Moscow and Kiev mediated by Qatar. After nearly two weeks of raids, Ukraine announced that it had gained control of more than 1,150 square kilometers of Russian territory and captured over 100 prisoners. President Putin criticized Ukraine's raid as a serious provocation that will be met with an appropriate response. The Kremlin leader also made it clear that Russia will not negotiate while Ukraine is attacking civilians and civilian infrastructure.